And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We got a lot to do today. So, the Ferrari 458 is getting major carbon fiber upgrades. The pink Lamborghini Aventador has five check engine lights and the donk, the baby donk, we are doing some scientific experimentation. That's right, we are scientists today and we're back. Now, Luke and I don't have the best scientific background. We both failed chemistry multiple times, so we probably shouldn't be doing what we are gonna be doing later today. But before we do that, we gotta drop off the Lamborghini at Lambo Salt Lake. The 458 is going back to the paint shop, so we got a lot to do, and then for science, for science. <laughs> It's hard to even describe how many check engine lights are going on on this car. Like all this stuff on the right side, I don't even know what any of that is. We have the standard check engine light, the airbag light there on the left side. Also, I'm wearing my blue jacket, so the white interior is soon gonna have a blue hue. Also, yes, the reflections off that white dash are quite interesting to say the very least. So Luke is driving the 458, we're gonna convoy off to Lambo Salt Lake, drop off the pink car, and then head on home. The purple in the sun looks so crazy. Come on, Luke, go, go, go. The car has the bacon fenders. The bacon fenders are being fixed today. I cannot get over how sick this car is. <laughs> it sounds so amazing. Oh, this is the most special car that I have in the collection. Mechanically, we, we got to make it special as well. It drives, it actually drives really, really well. It just has lots of check engine lights. That's really it. And then also every once in a while, it goes into like limp mode and the car starts smoking and blah, blah. I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, it does go into limp mode. No fires yet. <laughs> I realized the white dash makes it very hard to see what's here at Lamborghini Salt Lake. But look at the colors on these Bentleys. We got the Colonins as well. Wow, 620R, F12, Perfumante, Gallardo, Urus, they are stacked right now. I'm starting to realize that you guys think I have this reputation of an idiot holding a camera. Well, check this out, Luke. We have a Miami Blue GT3 that you do not own. We have a Napier Green. Sorry, that was rude. That was, that was rude. rude and inconsiderate. Wow. I love you, Luke. Wow. Uh, we have a Napier Green 765 LT. We have the Rosa Cantus Lamborghini Aventador and the Blue Tannis Lamborghini Huracan Perfumante. What color is that? What are you talking about? I just see a couple bronze wheels. <laughs> okay, was, I mean, what? We're getting hardcore flexed on right now. All these T-Rexes, this satin red one is really cool. <laughs> Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this car sounds so good too. This car is so underrated. And cars aren't gonna sound like this for long. Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you okay? You're doing great. Jeez, bro. I can barely even see ya. Now, maybe the best part about when my cars break, it opens up a new spot in the garage. I told Lamborghini of Salt Lake, keep the car for as long as you want. So, Ventador has been dropped off. So, now we move on to 458. We got a bunch of carbon fiber accessories. Now, also, we're still rocking the positive offset. My Vorsteiner wheels are gonna be here soon. And when I say soon, very soon. Also, this little gap right here, we're getting that fixed too. I also have to give a quick shout out to my boy Zane who gave me the Ram bar off his old TRX. We're gonna get that installed very soon. And then the baby Countach. Here's what I'm thinking. My Countach in Florida is white on white. I think the baby Countach should match. White exterior, white interior, white wheels, right? I'm pretty sure we have to. Oscar! <laughs> hey, Luffy, we missed you. Where have you been, dude? Yeah, we missed you. You are so floofy. Now, I do have to apologize for the mess in the house real quickly. We have a lot of car parts everywhere, but yesterday I was vacuuming, so, you know. So we have one hood right here, and we have another hood right here. One of these is for the 458, but I'm not sure which one. Also, we have the carbon fiber Vorsteiner kit in the guest bedroom. Off camera, we just had Wendy's. We got a suck in the gut. It was so good, though. No big deal. Oh, yes. The carbon fiber on this hood looks absolutely gorgeous, just glistening here in the sun. So, this is a replica 458 Speciale hood. Not a Speciale, a Speciale. An Italian friend once told me that. You got all the vents right here. So, step one, we got to remove the factory hood. That's going to go on the wall in the future. And then we reinstall the carbon fiber hood. Now, theoretically, that should take two minutes. Oh, easy. And of course, the million dollar question, can Dumb and Dumber install a carbon fiber hood? 
Absolutely, that looks so sick. The fitment is absolute perfection. The weave on this carbon fiber looks so good as well. But the million dollar question, do we leave it exposed or do we paint it? The problem is we gotta decide right now. Paint it. Yes sir, we're painting it. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say that the Ferrari feels fast, but it feels faster because we had a carbon fiber hood. We're saving weight. And Luke is also not in the passenger seat, so that's like 175 pounds ago. Oh, it sounds so good. I love this car. They truly don't make them like they used to. 9,000 RPMs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cars just don't sound like this anymore. That's what's so special about that Z06 Corvette and the 458 naturally aspirated. They can't beat it. Let her ride, let her ride. So we run into an unforeseen sequence in the vlog. For some reason, the, the inner door handle is broken. I, I can't actually get out of the car. Could you uh, could you get my door? Oh, is that possible? I could you help me out? <laughs> what a good guy. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. <laughs> Wait, no, you get your own door. Hey, 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 hey. I can get my own door. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, I apologize. I still cannot get over this Viola Parsifé in the sun. All that glass is absolutely crazy. And this carbon fiber looks so good. I, honestly, this is one of my favorite cars. We have not given it enough justice, how sick this thing is. It sounds incredible, it handles like a go-kart, and it looks ridiculously cool. Especially, even positive offset, it looks amazing. Just wait until we get the wheels, then it's gonna look even better. Wow, so we're dropping it off for probably like a week or so. Goodness, 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 goodness. It's truly hard to express how fantastic this is. We're getting all this free parking. Like, this is the parking solution. Also, that Defender is sick. Today has just been all logistical nonsense. Well, the real fun is about to begin. We're headed off to the warehouse for some scientific experimentation. When I look at my life and I think about the most important things I've ever done, legacy kind of things, this is upper echelon, boys. This is gonna be revolutionary. This car is so sketchy. It's a legit death trap. I know a lot of you guys hate the dog. A lot of you guys love the dog. There's something endearing about the dog. <laughs> what is Stefan doing this thing? It smells disgusting. Oh, my hot dog. Oh. That's, that's what it is. A stale hot dog will do the trick. Will she start it up? I think she will. Oh, reliable. If I could turn the key, I would, but I can't. I, I can't multitask. She's dead. She, she's completely dead, Very bro. Very close. Blew oh, my what? hot dog, dude. That's disgusting. Yeah, let me throw it away. My friends are gross. It's crazy to think about the stories this old Buick Roadmaster could tell us. She is 30 years old. She's been running on that 5W30, the good stuff. But you know what? It's a special time for her. I think she needs to run on Prime. <laughs> yeah, Prime Hydration. So, uh, we've heard all the stories about the Tropical Punch. Can you run an engine on it, though? Oh, that is dark. Wow. It's kind of sort of a representation of lost dreams and unfulfilled potential until this moment where the donk lives out its greatest moment. Well, she's dry as a bow, completely out of oil. That was way too easy. Now Luke insisted that we had to check the level of fry. This is gonna mean a lot. Oh my gosh. Is that the coconut water? Yeah, it's coconut water. It's pretty good. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Why do we not have power? The prime shouldn't have anything to do with that. Okay, so we're off to a very good start. I thought this was hydrating. A lot of electrolytes. Yeah, we have no ignition system. Shouldn't the electrolytes charge the battery? Yeah. We're not this dumb. Okay, that, that was sarcasm. Okay, we are that dumb. We put pride in it. We put pride in a car. Uh... She's purring like a kitten. Look at that. That's no big deal. We got good airflow. We got good viscosity. We're ready to go. Let's roll. I did think you guys doubted. This is amazing. That is 30 miles an hour on prime. What? <laughs> oil pressure is fine. Oil pressure is totally fine. fine. Dude, oh, I do. <laughs> that that is that is still a problem. The door has not been fixed, but the car is running buttery smooth, like no big deal. It's amazing when people see this car; they just have a tendency to move the opposite direction, grab their wife, grab their children, and run. Uh, this car is truly a menace to society. So uh, yeah, but we're good to go. 
literally, literally nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing. I was expecting the car to catch on fire, but uh, at Prime, it's hydrating. We have been driving for 30 minutes and nothing has happened. Oil pressure is great. Engine temperature is great. Like, not the, it's incredible. Like, forget motor oil. Just put Prime in. It's totally fine. It's a cheaper alternative, too, because, what, Prime's like, what, $2 for 17 ounces? Oil? It's like $6 for 17 ounces. Obviously, I made up those numbers. Oh, wait. <laughs> It's kind of like air conditioning when it opens up though. Really nice breeze. This is absurd. I'm holding it down at 4,000 RPMs and nothing, it sounds incredible too. Like what? This is not, this is not supposed to happen. This Prime is incredible. Not only is it hydrating, not only does it have 10% coconut oil, but you can also use it to run your engine. Incredible. <laughs> like literally this, this thing is unbreakable. This whole video is to get rid of the donk. The donk won't die. Donk can't die. Even Prime can't kill a donk. I do love this donk, but we really need to get rid of it. Wow. It just, the car just died. It just died. The, the car just... Oh, we got smoke. We got smoke. Oh, we got smoke! We got smoke! Where's that fire extinguisher, Luke? I don't know where Luke put the fire extinguisher. Do you got the fire Oh, you got it. We got smoke! <laughs> Don't burn your hands. Uh, oh, you know what I think that is? I think we were careless when we were pouring the prime in, and I think it's just burning off right now. Oh, that's coming from the radiator. Oh, no, that's from all sorts oh, of Oh, that's probably because we were revving it at 5,000 <laughs> RPMs. But prime is totally fine. The coolant. Oh, uh, dude, look at that. Oh, it's all oh. overflowing. Oh, 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 oh. man. That's prime right there, baby. That is prime. Luke tried getting this baby started. You just gotta give her some tender love and care. It's no big deal. Come on, baby, come on. No, no. Really? Oh, Red, come on, come on. I like this donk. Moment of silence for the donk. For whatever reason, I, I, I just had like this, this vision in my mind of the car like blowing up or catching on fire or something crazy happening, but it was quite anticlimactic. The baby donk, uh, at least the motor of the 5.7 liter V8 is dead. Now we have a paperweight sitting in the warehouse taking up space and I don't know what to do with it. We don't have a title, we can't register, we got a blown motor, so I think we need to like, I don't know. And on that bombshell, today's video is over. And when I say two minutes, we do have dumber and we have dumb right here. There's just a couple balls, a couple struts. It should be. Who no you calling dumb, pal? Who called? Why are you so good at cross eye? I don't want to just do it. That's I a don't skill. Know. I love your a... white forehead. This is stupid. This is a dumb take. I don't like this take at all. <laughs> <laughs>